Okay, here we are with part two. I was just getting ready to adhere the uh, print, printed paper onto the back, and you might be able to see that it looks like there's dried glue on there, and that's because there is. I started to do this step, and then I ran out of time, so I'm going to start again. What I usually do is I put the um, glue on the cardstock at this point, because I'm going to do each one of these se sections um, separately. It just makes it uh, a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to try and keep my printed paper to the inside of my lines that I did. Whoops, that's not very good. To the inside of my score lines is what I'm trying to say. There we go. So just this part. Good job. Okay, once that's down, then you're going to go ahead and I take a ruler like this I lay it down here and that's what's going to give me that kind of nice crisp score line there. And I'm going to do the other one too. There we go. And now I'm going to take my glue. And now, this is kind of important. I don't want to put my glue inside where my score lines are. I don't want to get glue there because I want to give the paper a little bit of fudge room to be able to bend properly. So I'm going to get, go ahead and do that. I'm going to let it dry like that a little bit, where it's folded, just like that. Okay, just, just, just for a second. Then I'm going to go ahead, lift this up, and I'm going to go and put adhesive on here. Just like that. And I really like this. This is that Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. It's um, good stuff, available almost anywhere. Okay, so like that. There we go. And now I'm going to check it out and make sure that it's pretty even. It looks like it's a little cockeyed right here. So I can move it just a little bit. But that looks pretty good. And this is just a sample. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you guys make yours, yours will be perfect. I'm just trying to give you a model of what it looks like. Okay? There you go. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my, my um, corner rounder and I'm going to round this corner because on the uh, gum box the corner is rounded and I really want this to look as much like the gum box as I can get it to look. Okay, so the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our slits for our ribbon and that's going to be just like this. I'm going to use this brown ribbon right here. And so I've got my little cutting mat right here. I'm going to lay this down. My ribbon is going to go on the inside. So basically, I'm going to kind of fold it in half and find the center, put the center approximately in the center of my project, like that. Okay, see where I'm going with this? Like that. Then I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to mark either side. I'm going to leave a little bit of space on either side. I'm just going to make marks like that. Okay, take my ribbon away. Take my handy dandy X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut through those two layers of paper here to make room to slide my ribbon through. Just like that. Am I all the way through? Yep, I am. Just about here, not quite. There we go. Got it through. Then I'm just going to take my ribbon like this and I'm going to push it through with my X-Acto knife there. And I'm going to push it through with my X-Acto knife there and pull my ribbon down through the center like that. And that's going to be about right. Then this is where my little piece like this comes in. I am going to go and I'm going to adhere that right to the inside and that's going to cover up that ribbon so the little cards that go inside there are not going to get caught on that ribbon. So once again, I want to use my glue on these little scallops so that they don't come up and get caught on the cards when I put them in because that would cause it to tear and we don't want that. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to adhere this onto here like this. Once again, staying inside your 
score lines both at the top and on the sides especially at the top there you go and this is very imperative that you get all that glue off of there because otherwise your cards are going to stick to it now we are ready to glue our box together and this is really simple now you'll see that there's some spaces places down here where it needs a little bit of trimming so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that off there like that not not much not a lot sometimes even this part will come out I didn't even put glue there yet there we go like just like that I'm going to hold it for a sec same over here I'm going to put my adhesive here and you'll notice what happened when I traced this on the pattern the pa printed paper I had it the wrong side up so it made this rectangle face the other direction so I'm just using the other side of the paper it doesn't really matter just remember to uh, flip your pattern when you trace it on okay and if you don't understand what I mean just message me and I'll be happy to explain it a little easier a little better so now we're just gonna glue our, our box together okay so first thing I do is my little flappies here a little glue there a little bit of glue there and I'm going to glue them like this. I'm going to hold that on there for a second. And I'm going to do this one. And hold this on here just for a second. So, how do you like those Canucks? They won that hockey game. Now they just got to win a few more. And we'll be golden. Okay, good job. Excellent. Now, I'm going to do this one. Like that. We adhere this onto here, and this is the one that you're going to kind of pull it a little bit and make sure, make sure that it's going to be square. Okay, sometimes I even just take my pencil and shove it in there. There we go. And you're just going to hold on to that for a couple of seconds, and then you're just going to go on, go ahead and adhere this one. And put, make sure you put your glue on your flap because your flap is a little narrower than the base and otherwise you'd get glue all over everything so just hold it on there for a second perfect okay so there's your little box it's pretty much done I'm going to erase this little X that I put up here so I knew which corner I wanted to round and there's your box just like that now one thing I do want to show you real quickly is how I put this flower on when I did this little flower on this box right here so what you need is you need two circles and I've got another one here somewhere there you are you little devil so I've got two circles so what I want to do is I want to figure out okay where do I want this on here so I'm going to run some glue and usually I use hot glue for this but because I don't have my glue gun plugged in I'm just going to do it like that and I'm going to put this on there like that just like that then I'm going to take the other one, I'm going to run my glue all the way around this circle, like this, and I'm going to adhere this one on top of this one. And that's going to give me a nice base for me to put my flower on. 